local restaurants. In Denmark, it's illegal to sell food with more than 2% trans fats. The Harper government promised to regulate trans fats too. But as Lori Graham tells us, those plans got clogged along the way. Chef Frederick Saint-Aubin is preparing tonight's menu. Succulent flavors, rich ingredients. But one thing you won't find in his kitchen, trans fats. His was the first restaurant in Canada to go trans fat free. To us, it was an obvious reason for, uh, to take care of our customers. And uh, knowing that we could arm, uh, we were arming ourselves and our customer, if we didn't do anything, we just wanted to, uh, to uh, take action. Trans fats are a nasty compound that raise cholesterol, can clog arteries and lead to heart disease. The federal government promised to regulate the food industry to limit trans fats. Health Canada documents show that in October 2009, a news release was drafted. Messaging lines were written for the minister. We've been very clear that if the industry does not regulate trans fat, we will. But two months later, a December email from a senior advisor said no decision about regulatory action or next steps will be announced at this time. Can you talk to us about trans fats and, and uh, why you're not regulating the industry? And the minister didn't answer our questions, but couldn't ignore the opposition's. Why does the minister always ignore the evidence and jeopardize the health of Shame. Canadians? So why is the health minister now ignoring expert advice and siding yet again with industry? Our, our government continues to make prevention and health promotion a priority. It's it's not clear why Health Canada moved away from regulations. A government source told CBC News there was concern about the impact of imposing regulation on small business. The Food and Consumer Producers of Canada says it pushed the government to let the industry regulate itself. When we're faced with an issue like this, we're better to identify the areas where the challenges still persist and, and, and let's find out what needs to be done to tweak those areas. So now it's voluntary, up to the individual food producer or restaurant to limit trans fats. Now the heat's off, uh, companies could theoretically go back to uh, using the old kinds of oils and it would only become evident to people who really scrupulously read those, uh, those labels. Health Canada did implement new labeling guidelines in 2005 which indicate how much trans fat is in packaged food. So it's up to you to read those labels and become better informed about trans fats. Peter? All right, Laurie, thank you.